guys. You ever get deja vu? You ever get deja vu? Anyway, it is a beautiful morning here in, where am I? Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And I'm doing another expo here, but this one's kind of different. This one isn't just all reptiles. This is an all animal expo. So there's gonna be mammals and birds and fish and reptiles. I've never done one of these shows before, so I'm kind of excited about it. But anyway, I'm late as usual. I gotta set up my table. All right, this is totally joyous. Look at this thing. When I bought this for 20 bucks at Home Depot, I was under the impression this was made out of adamantium. Look at that, it just broke right in half. 20 bucks, gone. I've only had this thing for like five years, but oh well, I'm doing this by hand. Come on, big box of snakes. Come on, oh, oh. get. This might be easier if I put the camera down. I'm in. Time to set up the table. All right, table set up. Show is about to start. I'm gonna walk around and check this thing out before the crowds get here. Look guys, passenger pigeons. parakeets chirp like that it always takes me back to my childhood when I used to beg my mom to go into every pet store that we came to and the parakeets would always chirp so hearing parakeets chirp just totally takes me back to my childhood this is awesome all right guys I really want one of these pigs look at this little guy oh no oh yes oh yes we have the ears all I want in life is a farm with a lot of snakes, a lot of lizards, and pigs. Hi, guy. All right, guys, the show is starting. I've got to get back to my table. I've got 30 bucks invested in this Love table you, I've got to make back. Love you, dude! <laughs> Enjoy your new hog nose. <laughs> All right, so this is the first chance I've gotten to leave my table and kind of explore this place, but look at that. Can you guys see that? There's still a line out there. It's a very floppy, fuzzy bunny. It's very odd rabbit, isn't it? It is. It almost looks like it was bred to a chinchilla. Yes, and you have to feel how soft they are. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. It feels like a chinchilla. It's, a, it's an odd, and they're not pretty. They're so pretty that they're ugly. Guys, so this place is absolutely crowded, but you know where it's not crowded? Right in front of my table. Empty space. Packed. 
Empty space. So this one is pastel leopard ivory. Pastel leopard ivory. Yep. And that's just leopard ivory. Yep. That is fantastic, Joe. All right, guys, this show is winding down. It was kind of really cool to be at a show like this that's not just reptiles, that's birds and mammals and fish and just all this awesome stuff to just walk around and see stuff that I would not ever see at just a reptile show. So. Anyway, show is winding down here. I did pretty good at this show, actually. So this is Emily. She puts on this show, and she does such an amazing job with it. Oh, well, it's the exotic pet fairy doll player. I've been running these for about three years or so, and we seem to be growing every year. So this is our newest uh, venue, and it's more than twice the size of our old venue. So we've really been able to expand, and we have over a thousand people who come here um, the last few times, so it's been great. So guys, people don't know just how much work actually goes into doing an expo like this and Emily does such an incredible job and she does this all by herself essentially I think she has a husband that helps her but really this is all Emily Emily puts all of this together and she does such an incredible job so anyway the show is over I'm gonna go tear down my table and then I think a bunch of us are gonna go get something to eat I'm not sure but <sighs> What a great show, I gotta go turn it on my table. All right guys, so doing the show is one thing, but the real fun is getting together with everybody from Minnesota and Wisconsin and going to eat. So we're going to, what's the, what's the name of this place? Who Hot, Who Hot Mongolian Grill. I think it's all you can eat. Is it? Yes sir. It's all you can eat. This is going to be belly filling. Please take one bowl per trip. That sounds like a challenge to me. All right, what? What is, what is it? Pork and chicken. Oh, neat. Look at that. Yeah. That's frozen slices of cheeseburger right there. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. you, you spilled right there. <laughs> yeah, you dropped something on the floor. All right, so then you pick your noodles, right? Yep. I'm just going to do this. Right? All right, so we're going to go over here. Alrighty, so I've got meat and noodles, and and no, no, no. Oh, here we gotta do shrooms. Uh, no, 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 no. Pineapple? Let's make a little pocket here, and we'll put some pineapple. There we go. That's very nice. That's very nice. Look at look at how symmetrical that is. Do some green stuff. Then you come over here and you grab sauces, right? There we go. Okay, good. So then, what do you do? You bring it over here. Else looks so much better than mine. Everybody's looks better than. Where did you get the rice from? Oh, right there. <laughs> right there. Rice for you. Mine looks. Oh, okay. Mine looks really not 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 good. But I'm gonna eat it anyway. All right, guys. So we just spent like five or six hours in there talking and laughing and just having a great time. But I've never understood why when you go to an all-you-can-eat place like this, do you really feel like you need to eat all you can eat. I mean, the cost of the buffet is like the cost of a plate in any other restaurant, but because it's a buffet, you somehow feel like you need to eat all you can eat to get your money's worth. But anyway, I am completely stuffed. I've got a two hour drive home, but what a great day today. The show was great, sold some snakes, sitting around, talking reptiles with all your friends. It's just 
so awesome. What an amazing day. But anyway, two hours home. So guys, love the planet. Keep your life in balance and rattle on.